This is Twit. Hey, Aaron Newcomb here with another review for Before You Buy. This time it's the AOC 16 inch monitor uh, from AOC. The specific uh, model number, if you're looking for this online, is E1659FWU. And at the time of this recording, it's about $130 on Amazon, although people have reported that it does get uh, a little bit cheaper from time to time. So put this on your price watch if you're interested later. Uh, so this is a 16 inch screen. It's a USB monitor. So you can actually connect this to USB. There's no additional power required or even capable. You can't even plug additional power into this monitor. Um, the resolution is 1366 by 768 and it has a 500 to one contrast ratio. So not bad. Um, it's got a foldable stand in the back, which is really nice. Um, and this stand allows you to rotate the monitor either horizontal or vertical position. So if you like to do uh, vertical, you can actually set this up vertically like this. Um, and it works really well. The monitor stand folds into the back of the monitor, so there's no additional uh, things you need to screw in or plug in. It's just really the monitor stand and the USB cable. Uh, this does support USB 3.0, which is really nice. You get that nice high speed um, uh, display uh, for all the information that's being sent from your host machine. There is another model I just have to mention that's available on Amazon as well um, and it's a little bit cheaper. It's $90 but this particular model is a lot nicer because it is a lot thinner. The other, the other model that's available is quite thick. Um, it does have USB 3.0 and it has a brighter panel with better contrast resolution or contrast ratio. So that's going to be great for you. This particular panel also gives you the visa mount. So if you're going to mount this on the wall, it has a 75 millimeter visa mount, which a lot of people are um, looking for. So they don't have to rest it on their desk. They can actually mount it up on the wall. Also, this model comes with a nice little carrying case. It's a nice little padded foam carrying case. Um, but, you know, really for a 16 inch monitor, a lot of backpacks have a special place for a tablet. You might be able to sneak this monitor into that little place in your backpack. It's a little big, but I think you could make it work. All right, so let's get into what's great about this little monitor. What's great is the simple installation. So for Windows, really all you have to do is plug it in to your USB port and you'll see that Windows goes out, automatically finds the right drivers to install. And then the, there is a specific driver for all the settings and things for this monitor that gets launched automatically when you plug it in. So not only does it load the driver automatically in Windows, it installs the necessary software because I should mention all of the controls for this are on screen. There are no hard controls. There's no power button. There's no menu button. It's all in software. So whether you like that or not might be something you should keep in mind as you're looking at this monitor. Um, and that's it. That's really it. The downsides to this monitor really are, I tried to get this working on Linux. I was really hoping to be able to use this on Raspberry Pi. As you know, I'm a big maker and that having a portable huge display like this would be great. Um, but I spent hours recompiling kernels and trying to get Raspberry Pi to work. It just didn't work. I couldn't get it to work. There's been mixed results on the internet. If you're a Linux user, you may not want to get this particular monitor because it's going to be hard to set up for you, at least for the time being. For Mac users, there are drivers available. You shouldn't have any problems for Mac. The other downside to this monitor is it might be hard to tell on the screen, but it is a little washed out. Um, the colors are a little washed out. They're crisp, they're just not bright and vibrant. So you'll definitely notice a difference if you have a normal monitor mount uh, attached to your host and uh, you compare it with this one, this one's gonna look a little washed out. But maybe for a, a portable design like this, that's, you know, you can give up a little bit on the colors um, and just go with a high quality, mo a high definition monitor uh, for things like coding or working in your email or whatever. All right, so let's get to the pros and cons. Pros. Uh, this easy Windows installation for sure, very easy to set up in Windows. Um, a decent looking display, like I said, a little washed out on the color side, but uh, the resolution is there. No additional power required. Everything runs off the USB, which is great, and it's also very low cost. If you compare this to other models on Amazon, you'll see that this one's usually $20 to $30 less than those other models, which is great. As far as cons, limited support for Linux and slightly more difficult installation for Mac. Um, and the build quality is actually pretty good, but not the best, right? So you're not going to get metal edges here. This is all plastic. There's actually some threads that are sticking out over here. Um, I noticed, and those are coming from inside the monitor. It wasn't something I snagged on my t-shirt or something. It's actually something that's bleeding or coming out of the cracks here from inside the monitor. So, um, you know, build quality is not the best, but hey, you get what you're paying for, right? 
All right, so my recommendation with this product is a definite try. If you're a Windows user, it's a buy, right? Go out and buy it, love it, it it's great. If you're a Linux or a Mac user, you may want to think about getting something else, though. So that's my recommendation. Check it out online, and thanks for watching.